Okay, so I'm Josh Footer with Cherokee County Extension with the University of Georgia, and we're talking on uh, collecting scion wood uh, from apples to graft. We're here now in you know, kind of late January, uh, early February. That's the most ideal time. We want these buds to be fully dormant. We're going to put them away. And then really we're doing our grafting, you know, March uh, on into early April. So we're going to have to put this away in the fridge and keep it in that uh, state of dormancy. Uh, this is an older tree. Sometimes in an a older, unmanaged tree, finding a good material can be a little bit challenging. But what we're looking for is wood that grew last year. Um, anything older than that is not going to be good viable wood for grafting. Um, so here we have, you can tell by the color, and uh, you know this was a water sprout, and this is kind of perfect material. Um, if we don't have you know something like this, then we're looking at much smaller uh, caliper. Uh, this can graft just fine, but you can see the difference in one-year-old wood versus two-year-old and older. You see this one-year-old wood color is different. You see this bud scar right here. And actually, this is where you have flower buds. No flower buds here, but flower buds down in here on this two-year-old and older wood. This is our one-year-old wood. So if we want to graft, we can cut this off. Or if we happen to have done some pruning in the last few years, we may have even thicker wood like this. In general, you want wood that's about Pencil diameter may be a little bit thicker. That's most ideal. So we'll collect some wood, and then I'll show you how to prepare it uh, for long keeping. Uh, um, and so we've got our scions, uh, one-year-old wood collected outside. Now we need to treat it right, uh, get it labeled, and get it packed away. So in a couple months when we're ready to graft, it's still viable. Okay. So here's one of our one-year-old shoots. Um, the tips of the shoots um, generally are not that great for grafting. Uh, a lot of times those buds aren't, you know, fully mature. So, you know, at least cut the uh, last few inches off on a, you know, nice, long, vigorous uh, shoot like this. And then, you know, something in the six to eight inch range uh, for your pieces, you know, cut in the inner node between buds. And down here in this thicker part of the stem, you're probably going to have a harder time matching that with your rootstock. You know, so if it's this thick, you know, probably don't even want to bother with it. Just in case, we keep this last shoot. You know, and here we have the opposite problem. This is, you know, pretty thin wood. Um, you can graft it and, and succeed, but um, less likely that it's going to become a nice viable graft. So here we've got some thinner material. And I do like to have a mix of thicker and thinner material when I have it available uh, because you never know what those rootstocks are going to look like. So um, we've got these cut down. I've got a 2% bleach solution, which this was four cups to one teaspoon. Uh, we're just going to let them sit in there for a couple minutes. Uh, that will hopefully um, kill or at least... Uh, knock back any uh, fungi, maybe even some bacteria that might be on those um, stems. Uh, clean water over here, so after they're in here, we'll put them in a rinse uh, for a couple more minutes. So while that's sitting in there, you can make your label, you know, Sharpie or an old plant tag. Write down what you've got, uh, your older heirlooms or your um, unnamed uh, seedling trees, perfectly fine, but if it is a patented variety, you, know, you don't want to reproduce it in this way. Um, so these, we are just going to sort of do a um, semi-moist uh, or damp uh, wrap. You can also Pack these away by sealing the cut ends, um, so whatever moisture is in there is going to stay in there. Uh, when I'm packing away a lot of scions for uh, our grafting class, I will use a mixture of beeswax and uh, toilet seal uh, wax. It's just a cheaper form of wax. Um, but in this case, you know, we're just putting away a few scions here. Um, no sense in you know messing with anything to that level. Uh, or you could just use parafilm if you happen to have parafilm. You know, wrap at least, you know, these cut ends. But 
you know, why go through all that trouble? We've got a uh, little bit of moisture. And again, we don't want something, you know, just dripping wet. We don't want anything soaked. Uh, but a little bit more moisture than what came off of those uh, scions that was, as we dried them. You know, you can see here, Yanni, there's no water uh, coming out of there. So just a little bit of moisture is really all we want. Put a label on them like I did here uh, with these. These are Grimes Golden. And then we'll pack it in that um, moist material as airtight as we can get it. And then this is going to go in the uh, fridge away from any um, of your fruits, if you happen to keep your fruits in the, in the uh, refrigerator. So that's good to stay for really months. Uh, chances are you'll probably be using it towards the end of March, middle March, or on into April. Um, that's how we pack it away. Uh, get out there and collect it between, you know, probably uh, mid-January through early February in our area. On that, uh, your buds may already be starting to swell and not fully dormant anymore. So these are fully dormant, um, one-year-old uh, stems that we're collecting for grafting wood.